For the 2022 municipal and school board elections, you have the option to vote remotely with online and or phone voting. Remember, you can only vote using one voting method for these elections, choosing between traditional paper or remote voting if they are both offered by your municipality. In the following video, we will guide you through the simple remote voting process. Before the election, you will receive a voter instruction letter with your personal voting credentials and instructions on how to vote using the internet or the phone. This letter will be delivered by Canada Post to your regular mailbox. Remember that this document belongs only to you and must be kept private and safe. For online voting, you will need your voter instruction letter and a supported device with an internet connection. In your voter instruction letter, you will find the information required to access the system. This includes your PIN needed to identify yourself for voting, the web address to access the voting portal, and other important information related to the election. Please take some time to read it. To vote online, enter the online voting portal website listed in your letter and log in with your PIN and identification information. The number and type of identification information required to log in might be different based on your municipality's regulations. If you need assistance at any point in the voting process, simply click on the Information button on the top right of the page. Depending on your municipality, you may also change the language of the voting portal. Once you have successfully logged in, if you wish to exit the system, you can always come back at any time either online or by phone, and continue participating in those races you have not yet voted. During the voting process, a progress bar on top of the screen will show you where you are and how many steps are left to cast your ballot. To begin voting, you have to select the race in which you want to cast a ballot. If you have already voted in a race, a checkmark symbol and the word voted will indicate this under the race title. When you select a race, a new screen will show the race and voting status. Based on your municipality, you may also select the ballot language. Press Vote to proceed with voting. The race page will display the ballots and all the candidates in this race. It is important to pay attention to the number of candidates required to be selected. It might be different for each race. Take your time to select the candidates of your choice. You can select and deselect according to your preferences or reset and clear your selections to start again. Once your selections have been made, press Review to review the ballots. Carefully review your ballot content. You can still change your selections by pressing Change Vote and going back to the previous step. If you agree with the ballot content, press Submit Ballot. When you confirm your ballot, your vote will be securely cast and stored in the digital ballot box. At this point, your vote for this race is final and cannot be changed. Once the ballot has been cast, you will see a confirmation message indicating that your vote has been cast and stored. After you cast your ballot, you can verify that your votes are recorded correctly in the digital ballot box. To do this, download the CITL Verify app to your smartphone from the App Store or Google Play. You do not need to download this app and verify your votes in order for your votes to be counted. Once the official verification app is installed on your smartphone, open it and scan the QR code from your confirmation screen. Generic QR code scanners will not work. When you're ready, enter the same voting pin you used to vote. This will create a secure preview of your ballot that only you can see. This may take a few minutes. Your selections will display on your smartphone as they are recorded in the digital ballot box. You can review them to make sure they match how you meant to vote. If everything is correct, select Finish. If what you see is not how you meant to vote, select Not My Selections and contact your municipality. If there are other races you are eligible to vote in, you can continue voting in them. 
Once you have finished voting, exit the system using the Logout button at the top right of the screen. Thank you for viewing this information video, and if you need further information, please consult your usual local municipality information channels.